All right, what's up and welcome to the episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're taking a look at the Acer Nitro 16S and then the Acer Nitro V 16S. The key difference between these laptops, we have the same GPU, same CPU options, except the 16S non-V can go up to a 5070 Ti and there's a chassis difference as well. So if you look, there is a but an extra extension on the non-V version. So that's one downside. Now, the V in this case stands for value, meaning they're gonna charge less money. So it's gonna be a little bit better bang for your buck, but both of them are slimmer, hence the name 16S. Another key difference is that the V version features a MUX switch instead of advanced Optimus, which means that to switch between the NVIDIA GPU and the integrated GPU, you might require a restart depending on if you're in dedicated GPU only mode. The Advanced Optimus lets you hop into dedicated GPU only mode without a restart, so that's really nice. It's another way for Acer to charge a little bit less money for the value version of the machine. So in some ways, because the, the V version of the 16S does not have a butt on the rear, I think some people might like the design on the value version of this laptop a little bit better as well. So especially if you're gonna get a 5060 or 5070 version of this machine, like you're looking for the more budget, budgety oriented machine anyway. Both of these have Windows Hello with a 1080p IR webcam. They both have a four zone RGB keyboard. They both come equipped with a similar CPU and GPU. They also have the similar uh, display options with a QHD 400 nits, a 180 hertz display with 100% sRGB, which is not great for content creators. It's gonna be okay for content creators, but not great. It's not really a multimedia focused machine. You can do it in a pinch, but that's not really the focus of this machine because it doesn't have 100% P3 color gamut, which is the ideal for content creation. In addition, the, uh, the GPU on the non-V version can go up to a 5070 Ti. So that's the other key difference. But they both can also come equipped with a full HD 165 Hertz display. On the right side, we have two USB 3.2 type A. On the rear, we have our 230 watt power adapter with HDMI 2.1 and USB 4. And then of course the S version, non-V version. And of course the V version only has the USB 4 where the S version alone has the extra USB-C port. And then on the left side, we have an ethernet port, a USB-A 2.0, so not a 3.2. So this is basically for plugging in your keyboard or your mouse. And then you have a micro SD card slot and a headset combo port. Another thing to keep in mind with these Nitro laptops is they have plastic trackpads instead of glass. There's a lot of similarities between these machines, but don't get caught up too much on the difference in name because it really comes down to your specs for your money. The non-V version just giving you a few more premium features like an extra USB-C port and advanced options, probably being the two most important or potentially the 5070 Ti if that's the GPU option that you really want to go for. The V version also does not come with liquid metal on the CPU where the non-V version does have liquid metal thermal grease on there. Both have two fans and four outtakes. The other arguably most important difference between the V and the non-V version of these laptops is that the V version of the 16S can only go to 70 watts plus 15 boost for a total of 85, versus the non-V can go up to 115 watts with a 100 watt base and 15 watts boost. So that's a pretty significant difference in terms of potential performance. Both of these laptops are very slim, very light, and very portable for a 16-inch chassis, making them a good budget competitor versus something like the Zephyrus G16 or the Razer Blade 16. And these laptops also should significantly cost less than those ultra high-end premium machines. Overall, both of these machines target a slim audience as well as a moderately priced audience. Hopefully, the prices on these aren't gonna be too extreme. Assuming that they perform well when I can do my full benchmark and testing on these laptops. So thanks so much for tuning in. That's the Nitro V16S and Nitro 16S for a quick comparison. We'll see you in the next one. Brandon.